everyone. I want to, first of all, thank you, all of you wig makers out there that have learned from me and that have been on this journey with me with this wig. This wig has been over a year in the making. I'm going to say it probably took me a good maybe six to eight months to ventilate the frontal. And that's, you know, partially to do with, well, a lot to do with age. You know, I'm in my mid-50s. I can't ventilate that fast. I can only ventilate, you know, a couple hours a day now. So uh, I think I initially showed you this wig. I know it had to be early um, or late 2013. So I worked on it all through 2014. I put it down through the summer because who sits and ventilates through the summer, right? And I think I picked it back up around um, maybe October or November because I wanted to finish it to take it skiing, which I did finish everything except for the rest of the hair, adding the hair in the back. So I wanted to show you this wig completed and what it looks like on in its natural state. What I did was, um, I saw on somebody's video, I'm not sure who it is, but you know, I watch all you ladies out there and, you know, pick up all your little tips. So someone had conditioner and water and a little olive oil. And so I only put like a, t a tablespoon of olive oil and that's what I did. I sprayed it and then I um, just doused it with mousse. Just a, a regular, I don't know, $1.99 thing of mousse. And um, and that I said when they said when you put the olive oil in it, it dries crisp but not you know stiff. It it still will move and everything. So it's it's just a little damp. So let me show you what it looks like from the back. And um, there's a lot of footage, as you can tell from the time. So where I picked off from part two, after you know we went to Paul Lance and got the hair, part three, I showed you. Um, I started um, sealing the tracks with Easy Tab because you always want to seal your tracks with Easy Tab. So I did that. Then I took you to the sewing machine and I showed you some techniques of how I sew the tracks on the weft without, you know, hand stitching them first. So I showed you that and then we came back in here into my office and we, um, we put the tape on and, you know, put the strap, the wig strap on, this strap. So we did that. I might be missing something, but you know, I had was facing the mirror and we, you know, I'm in my stocking cap. So all that's in there, all that footage. And that concludes this little series of this wig. So you know it's not gonna stay like this. I may, you know, just have fun with it and film a couple videos, but I'm not a black hair girl, so I will um tint it and streak it, tint it brown, light brown and streak it blonde and keep the roots black though to match my baby hair. So I'll just give you a close look but um, that's what it looks like up close. But if you watch the footage at the end you'll really see it up close really good because I spent a good amount of time with it up close facing the mirror and the camera behind me and everything. So um, I was playing around with my little headbands. I bought some of these from Ulta, different colors like pink, a black one, a bronze one. So I, that's why I said I might play around with this wig like this a little bit and in the house. I don't think I would wear it out in public. I mean, I don't know. Skin's different. I wore it, I wore it skin like this and I had it, had it braided. So um, you guys, you know, comment below and if you have projects, you know, you want to email me for advice or what, everything. I know I don't really, um, I can't teach anymore, but, you know, I can help you out if, you know, there's questions that you need on ventilating. I mean, you have to do your own 
ventilating. You have to do your own wig work to have that perfect wig that you want no matter how long it takes. You know, start on it, put it away, come back to it, just keep it up. You know, just I have over a hundred videos on wig making. Just tons of information, you know, and I'm going back trying to change the titles of a lot of them to make it specific to, you know, what you're searching for, like, you know, um, how to ventilate double knots and you know so i'm trying to make the videos more search engine specific but i do have a wig making blog wigweaves.com and you guys know i'm a blogger and i love taking pictures and i have tons of blog posts on different things everything i normally do i write a blog post on you know because i'm retired i have a lot of time i sit and, and you know write and blog while i'm on my exercise bike so um, I don't want to prolong this video any more longer than it's going to be, but I just want to say, um, this is not comfortable, I just want to say, you know, thank you for being on this wig making journey with me through this wig, and um, I don't know, just, you know, keep, you know, if your dream is to ventilate and make wigs, Get out there and learn and, and go for it. Get a piece of this billion dollar industry. You do not need to buy wigs. I've never ever bought a wig. I've all the wigs that I have, I made. Even, you know, I look at my, my box, I have, you know, four or five wigs from when I first started, how they didn't fit, they were real big. I mean, but practice makes perfect. Just you know, learn how to do it, make your own wigs, that way you can buy your own hair, you know, good, beautiful virgin hair that's not mixed with synthetic fibers and not stripped, the cuticles aren't stripped, you know, I'm going to have a little bit of tangling because these are, you know, pretty much, uh, the cuticles aren't cut up here, so they're kind of going in opposite directions, so when the cuticle flows in opposite directions, it causes a little friction and tangling. So I have a lot of mousse up here. But um, once again, thank you for being on this journey with me. And I'm looking forward to seeing all your wig work out there. Thank you for watching.